The topics of today's video is control value accessor in Angular. Hello guys, my name is Mitch Ramoshansky. In this and next two videos, I'm going to show you how to build a complex form control, the same like you can see right now on your screen. But in order to understand how to implement this feature, we need to understand some patterns and techniques which will allow us in the end to achieve our goal. And today we will start with the Control Valley Accessor. Subscribe to my channel right now if you don't want to miss my next videos, because in next videos we will cover really, really interesting and important topics. Are you done? Then let's get started. In order to save your time, I prepared some component and modules which I'm going to use in today's lesson. And let's quickly walk through all of them and see what is inside. And I am starting with the lock input component, which you can see right here. It's a just simple toggler which changes its state on every click. So once I click, the lock is open. Then I click one more time, the lock is closed. And that's pretty much it and how I implemented this. This is just simple Angular component which has the is locked uh, property and then in template I have some um, placeholder, oh, sorry, not placeholder but label and then I have mat icon which has on click handler and on click I just toggle the is locked state and depends on this state I just uh, show uh, icon lock or lock open as simple as that and there is some styling to align the elements as I need and next element is the value accessor example this is the component which has the form you can see it right here and uh, I inject the form builder and then in ngon in it uh, I build the form and we have on submit which console log the values of the form then in template I just map my reactive form to my uh, template elements you can see the form group form control name then we have just a button and our app lock input there and that's how it's working so I can easily uh, type some value in add item input and then click add item and see the values the next thing we have to to check is a component form control module. There I define uh, declarations, then I import the necessary modules and I export the value accessor example component. And then I import my form control, uh, complex form control model in the imports in my app model TS file. Then I just commented out our drop down search component, which we created in my previous videos about Angular CDK overlay component. And I replaced this with my app value accessor example component. So that's what I did. And now let's imagine that we have the task. So we should move our lock input component inside the form and we should not make it just a part of the form it should behave like a form control it should be always in sync with our reactive forms which we have in our uh, ts file so it should share its state with this form and it should be always in sync and uh, let's think how we could implement this so i think the first thing which could come to your mind if you don't know about uh, value accessors it's to create some output which is event emitter and then when user click on mat icon we create the on click handler there we switch the state then we emit value to the parent and the parent already catch this select event and creates its own handler on select in our case and then on select you have to catch this value and then most probably you have to and then you have to create the new form control which is is locked in our case and then you have to in the on select handler you have to update the value for is locked form control and uh, it 
looks very messy and if you have the dozens of these form controls can you imagine you have to create such a events handlers for every for every form control which is uh, really hard to maintain in the end so there is, should be another way and i'm going to show you right now so first let let me roll back these changes i will just remove what i did before so we have to remove on click method and then in template we just revert revert our code all right so looks good the next approach would be most probably to assign this is locked form control the same way how we did it for input so we're using form control name so let's try do the same but for our component and let's see what will happen i'm saving this and And we have an error and it says that no value accessor for form control with name is locked. So let's try to Google for this control value accessor and let's see what Angular documentation says about this. And we can see that control value accessor is just interface which requires this three method to be implemented and also optional set disable state. And if we scroll down to the description we can see that they say implement this interface to create a custom form control directive that integrates with angular forms all right that sounds not so hard so let's copy this um, interface and implement this for our app lock input component i will add this right after ng on init lifecycle hooks import this interface and we see that uh, VS Code tells us that we have to implement these three interfaces and if I click on the quick fix, it suggests me to implement interface control value accessor automatically. I just click on it and all my interfaces which I need are implemented and now they throw the error. We just commented out this for now. And then we will be implement this one by one. But implementation of this interface is not really enough. We have to tell Angular that if someone wants to access ng value accessor, please use my existing class, which in our case log input component. And we have to say that it should be multi-true, so it can be multiple instances. All right. So in this case, literally happens the next. When we attach this uh, form, form control name directive to the any element, it tries to access this ng value accessor, and once it ex and once it finds this accessor, it then goes and checks what to use, what what class to use as the representation of this ng value accessor. And in our case, we're saying that use existing lock input component because this component has implemented all necessary methods. You can see this write value, register and change. This is only things which Angular need to um, work with certain component as with the form control. And you will see this a little bit later. So let's go back to our application and we see that our error is gone. So it does nothing, but at least we got freed from this error and then if we click add item we can see that our is locked is there but it's now so far and um, yeah it proves that our accessor is uh, working but not really uh, how we want to have and let's make it work appropriate way so first I will rename our is locked uh, property to the value because in this context this name will be more clear and correct. So let's start with this write value method. And from the name of the method we can understand that we just assign the value in this method. So I will do the same. I will assign to my value the object which it receives 
and we will change the type to boolean because our value is boolean time but the question where it comes who triggers this um, method it will be triggered once we define the or change the value in our form control so if i define the true value in our form control it will under hood trigger this right value and we assign this value what we receive from the form control this object it's the value from the form control and we assign this to the value okay and then in this value will be used in our template and depends on this we will show appropriate icon okay and to ju just to prove it i will console log it if we reload you can see that log input component was triggered and this was triggered exactly because we defined the value in the form control constructor and now we can see that i click add item and is locked is true so let's go to the our accessor example component and change to the false and you will see that now it's console log false and if we submit our value we can see that is locked is false so that's how the things are working with this right value so i will remove this uh, console log and remove this commented out code and then we have to do some opposite thing so we now have to notify somehow our form control so kind of parent that the value was changed yeah when we click on the value our form control should catch this change and reassign the new value to uh, to itself for this to achieve this we should create the on change property where we will re register our on change function which will be passed as an argument to our register on change method so that's the thing what we have to do once yes we have to register our on change and then we have to call this function every time when we change the state in our case we have to do it on click and we have to a little bit refactor the sync i will remove this part from my template and i create the set value handler and in this set value i will switch the state and then i will trigger this on change and pass the new value of uh, my component the new state so now once i click our component will notify our form control that the value was changed so update your state as well and let's have a look how it works i type should be locked i lock this we add input and we see that is locked is true when i unlock this and change that it should not be locked we can see that is locked false so that's how this on change works yeah it just notifies form control that something was changed okay the similar thing we will do for register on touch and on touch it happens when we focus on some item and then blur and this this means that form control was touched we didn't like change nothing but we touched we focused on it and for some certain cases we needed to maybe highlight it somehow with the styles whatever and i want to achieve something like this with our components on click i want to mark it as touched and um, to somehow test it and see the result let's disable our add item button uh, if the form is not touched so i will just uh, do disabled and it will be disabled it for if form not touched so now we can see that my button is disabled once i focus then blur our form uh, our button is available again
But now if we click on our icon, you see our button still disabled. So this on touch mechanism doesn't work. So let's implement this. I will do pretty much the similar thing what I have done for on change, but I will rename this property to untouched and uh, then I will register the same way, absolutely the same way our untouched function and uh, then I will call this function on the set value. Okay, so somewhere after on change we will trigger the untouched and it complains because expected one argument ah because yeah we don't need uh, the argument for untouched and uh, yeah that's everything what you have to do and now if i click you see our button is active so that's mean that our own touch mechanism was triggered and when form has at least one element touched whole form counts like a touched okay and yeah we can see that all our values there so that's fine the next thing we have to do is to disable our lock input all right so i will create another property called disable which is false by default and will assign to our disabled property the value which gets this function and then in our template i want to assign disabled control class in case if our our lock input is disabled or remove this class if it's enabled yeah super easy and i will copy this string create the css class and we set the opacity i don't know 0 0.5 and we disable all pointer events and the last thing we have to do small check it's uh, if it's disabled we should not execute um, value changes on change method and so on we just do return yeah and then just to test it we will refactor a little bit form control and instead of false we we provide the object with value false and disable true and now if we go back to our application we see that our disabled class was applied and our icon has this opacity 0 0.5 and if i click nothing is happens and that's exactly behavior what we expect from disabled input all right and now if i revert to the false you can see that our input is again enabled i can interact with this no any problems and this is actually pretty much it what you should know about control value accessor in angular it just allows any angular component to behave like a form control okay that was it for today now you know how to make any angular component behave like a form control and this feature is very useful and very flexible i'm pretty sure you will be using this uh, feature quite a lot in your application and as i said in the very beginning this video only the first video in the video series where in the end we will build the complex form field control and uh, in next video we will learn another technique which allows us to achieve our goal subscribe to this channel right now if you don't want to miss it and thank you for your attention and see you in the future